Noise Source Identification Let's now look at how sound intensity measurement can be used for noise source identification. The sound intensity probe is not equally sensitive in all directions. The image on the screen shows the directional characteristic of the probe. We can see it's most sensitive when the sound incidence is directly from the front or the back of the probe. One way to interpret the directionality is to think of intensity in terms of vectors. When sound intensity points in, into some arbitrary direction relative to the probe, the sound intensity measured by the probe will only be the component of the vector that is parallel to the probe. Therefore, the measured sound intensity will be largest when the probe is aligned with the direction of, of intensity and lowest, theoretically zero, when the sound intensity is perpendicular to the probe. When doing noise source identification, we often move the probe in space and observe the magnitude and direction of sound intensity. The directivity of the sound intensity probe is therefore something to keep in mind. The image on screen shows a basic principle of noise source identification. Moving the probe along the sound source allows us to pin down an exact location of sound source. The sound from the sound source has a different direction relative to the probe, provided that the probe retains the same direction and is moved in a straight line. When the probe is on one or the other side of the source, the direction is well defined. When the probe approaches the point directly in front of the source, the intensity is perpendicular to the probe and the sound intensity reading should be zero. In practice, it will drop, but not to all the way to the zero due to non-ideal room. If we do the same scan in two directions, we can locate the source exactly. The location of sound source is at the X and Y coordinate where the sign of the intensity flips.